I'm Dave Swift, and I review a new lifetime deal almost every day of the week. My reviews are trustworthy, they are comprehensive, and they tend to get a little bit long. So if you don't have time for all that, you're in the right place. This is the Taco Truck Roundup, where I provide you with a condensed version of my full-length reviews. I'll spend about two to three minutes on each product, respond to any comments that were left, and maybe even make updates or alterations or things I could have gotten wrong in my full video. All of those full videos are linked down below, by the way, so if anything catches your eye and you're interested in learning more, of course, you can still watch that full video. If that sounds good, you're in the right place. This is the Taco Truck Roundup. What's up, everybody? Dave Swift here, ClientAmp.com. We got a great show for you, but before we get into the reviews, I've got some breaking news. AppSumo, the sponsor of today's video, is doing it again. There's gonna be another $5 deal. Those of you that were lucky enough to grab the $5 deal for Rambox a few weeks back, or perhaps those of you that waited just a little bit too long will know that these deals tend to sell out very quickly. I launched my full video, I mentioned it in the Taco Truck Roundup, and then a few hours later, the deal was completely gone. So you'll definitely want to know at the minute this becomes live, and the good news is, AppSumo's given me the heads up, the deal is going live on Wednesday, September 4th. As soon as it goes live on their website, I will drop a full tutorial showing you exactly what the deal is, how to get it, how it works, all of that good stuff. So make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can find out right away and it doesn't get sold out and leaving you in the dust. All right, thank you very much for AppSumo again for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into today's reviews. Up first is Akadal. Akadal is an online course platform, so you can create online courses and then sell them to people. It's a really nice interface. I enjoyed using Akadal. However, the one thing that was a little bit confusing to me was what features were going to be included in my plan. Thus, I spent about 10 or 15 minutes at the top of my video just going through the different options and what everything meant. I think it was one of the most confusing deals to actually understand that I've seen on AppSumo. Not that the tool itself is confusing, like I said, it's actually very easy to use, but just knowing what features I was gonna get, that left me, I, I spent some time on that. However, the actual course creation process, really smooth. It's got a great editor. Everything is kind of done from what it looks like to be a student. So if you've ever been turned off by using like a LMS that's in WordPress, I think Akadal will be a much better fit because you actually look at the screen that the user will see when you're creating the course. It's not some kind of distant, unrelated editor. It's what the user is going to get. Every course has a landing page that comes right with the course. It's very easy to populate. There is some restrictions here, of course, because you're basically filling out a template. It's not going to be building a landing page from scratch and maybe an extravagant uh, sales page. However, there is integration with things like Thrivecart, so you could do that over there and have a full sales funnel. I really like the fact that you get your own custom domain name. They can send from your own SMTP, so all of the emails will be branded and authenticated, assuming you know that you connect up your SMTP and have your email configured properly, but that's a story for another video. There is some light branding on the lower price tiers, but I found it very unobtrusive, so if you don't need much, you're just getting started with your online course career, well, I'd be fine with going with that basic plan. I think it's gonna be you know, everything up to tier four. If you need to unlock white label and all of that goodness, it is available as well. You'll just have to cough up a little bit more money. If you spend a ton and go up to the absolute top tier, tier 10, it's gonna be about a thousand bucks, but you will also get an online community, kind of like a Facebook group, but it's you know branded to your own company and on your own domain name and Mark Zuckerberg is not involved at all. Let's head over to the comments and see what you guys thought about Akadal. I wanna point out, I did get a comment here from Akadal. I always love when developers watch my video and comment back. It's uh, typically a, a pretty good thing. Occasionally I get some negative stuff, but Akadal said that this was the best deal explanation so far, so I appreciate that. I did spend a lot of time dissecting the deal terms and everything. The one kind of negative comment I wanted to draw some attention to was this one over here from KW Swim 539 He said, the only thing confusing to me is it seems like you can't purchase an a la carte course, uh, basically selling one course and then you know just giving access to that. It looks like you have to either pay once or purchase a subscription to access all of the courses in a group. And I commented that, yeah, that's actually exactly how it's set up, but there's nothing stopping you from creating a course and a group for each course that you sell. So basically you have a group that's gonna be who's taking the course and then it connects up to a course and that's 
That's how the things are tied together. That's not unlike using kind of a tag based system to grant access to pages on your website. That's a very, very common approach to gating content, you know, connecting it up to your, your CRM, your email marketing tool that's done all the time. The difference here is that it's kind of just all inside of their SaaS platform. So there's not really a reason it has to be so cumbersome. And thankfully, Akadal actually responded that said, uh, we plan to bring single purchase without group dependency. So that's something that's going to be fixed in the future, which is good for everybody. So like I just mentioned, I really enjoyed using Akadal. I think it's a strong platform, especially for people without a large budget and don't really care as much about owning their own platform. That's something that's very important to me personally. But if I'm just trying to sell courses and make money, that's kind of going to be an afterthought. Let's, let's be honest. So I ended up giving Akadal a 6.9 out of 10. If there was some way to get data in and out and maybe move to a different platform if I wanted to, you know, export my course content, well, I probably would score it a lot higher, but maybe my built-in prejudices kind of keep that score down artificially. Next up is Insert Chat. This is an AI-powered tool that lets you create a chatbot for your website. Essentially, you can train a chatbot on your own data. That data can automatically be refreshed, by the way, if it lives on the web, and then it can act as a support chatbot as a sales chatbot or really anything you can imagine. I've got some plans for actually implementing this in terms of my own content in the future, and I'm really excited to see how it plays out. I've reviewed other tools similar to Insert Chat in the past, but there's a few features here that I hadn't seen on other paid tools. The breadth of the customization in terms of the interface was unlike what I'd seen before. They also offered so many different models that it was really refreshing. That way you could pick the right model for the right use case. Everything is done through a credit-based system, so you can't bring your own key. That is probably one downside for a lot of people. They don't wanna have to pay any markup when you need to add more credits. Uh, I think that plans on AppSumo are pretty generous and I didn't feel like the credits were priced too high. They weren't cheap, but yeah, that's something that will definitely kind of sort itself out as I might use the tool and get closer to the limits. I'll probably adjust how I feel about that. Overall, the tool felt great. It was always snappy and responsive and all of the features worked right out of the gates. It was pretty easy for me to get it loaded up on my website. The only feedback I had on the negative side of things was I just would like more clarity in terms of what each feature meant in terms of customizing things. It was a little bit of a guessing game where I think this button's gonna do this, so I'll change it and then see what it does on the front end. Overall, I gave Insert Chat a 7.9 out of 10. If they were to fix those little usability issues in terms of me guessing the interface, this would definitely be into the eights. Well, I think a lot of people would like to see that bring your own key, so maybe that's holding it back as well. But you do those two things, it's in the eights for sure. Before we move on from Insert Chat, I wanna just address a few of the comments. Here's an important question that I had, basically asking how it handles multiple languages. If you watch the full length video, you'll notice that when I create a chatbot, I set it to English as the primary language. When I had the chatbot set to English, if I asked it a question that was in Spanish, it still responded in English. However, if I asked it in Spanish to respond in Spanish, it would then adapt. Now, things change when I move the default language from English to just default. And in that case, it was happy to respond with whatever language was inquired with. It worked right away without any additional prompting. So my advice is probably just leave it on default in terms of language, unless there's some reason you just definitely only want it speaking English or whatever your language of choice is. Otherwise, the comments on this video were all fairly positive, similar reaction to what I had. There's one here from Darren Rich saying, this looks pretty awesome, more robust than Chatbase. I'm really interested in how the reseller works. I haven't mentioned that yet, but there is a reseller option. Uh, I didn't include that in my video. If you wanna see that, leave a comment on this video and perhaps I'll do a insert chat part two. All right, so that's insert chat. Let's move on to our next tool, which is quick ads. The concept of quick ads is very enticing. Basically, the idea is you'll be able to type in your website. It'll grab all of your branding info, like your logo and your colors, and even describe your company. So it's got some kind of background information on what you do. And then you can just link over to your products and quick ads will generate both video ads as well as image-based ads. So you can run them on display networks or YouTube or whatever you want. In concept, like I said, this is really alluring. 
In practice, I found Quick Ads to be inconsistent with its performance. I actually shot two full videos of Quick Ads. Some people were commenting, and I'll mention the comments later on, but they were saying that I didn't give it enough of a chance. And I would say I gave Quick Ads a bigger chance than I've given almost any tool in the history of this channel. I spent almost two days learning this platform, trying to get it to work, and yet I still couldn't do so. I did generate some ads, but they weren't as interesting as I would have liked them to be. And overall, just using like the graphic editor was very cumbersome. I definitely would prefer to just use Canva if I'm gonna stick with an online image editing tool. The video ads were okay, but again, I would probably go with something like FlexClip, which I reviewed fairly recently, which did a really good job of AI generated ads. So, or even just videos in general, I could easily do a video ad inside of FlexClip. And I like that user interface a lot more than what I saw inside of Quick Ads. Now there's a bunch of other features I haven't even mentioned inside of Quick Ads. I think overall the tool is just trying to do a bit too much. I think they should narrow down their scope a little bit. At least that's what I would do if I were in charge, which I'm obviously not. But I would focus on maybe just doing, you know, display ads and a really good job of creating those. And once that is completely nailed, then you could start to expand into other features. A lot of people agreed with me after watching the screen recording. That's that's kind of the nice thing about a screen recording is I'm not overhyping anything or, or underhyping anything. I'm just showing you how a product works and then you can watch the screen recording for yourself and determine whether or not it's something that's interesting to you. Often I rate products pretty lowly and then people will respond like, thanks, I love this, this is great, it's a perfect fit for me because you know we're different, we have different use cases. Well, we've got some comments over here saying, thanks for your honesty, deeply appreciate it. Honesty and integrity no longer exists in the online world. All about looking for anything positive to say when sometimes a turd is just a turd. Now, I'm not saying that Quick Ads is a turd. Like, I don't like to be derogatory because believe me, like the founder of Quick Ads reached out and he was, you know, very upset with my review, but, you know, admitting that they've got some work to do as well. I don't want to disparage anyone's work or, you know, people make sacrifices to launch these products. I think you just got to realize that it's got to be good. Like, there's so much competition in software that if it's not obvious how to use it or whatever the situation is, it has to be compelling and solving a problem. And it's not really the user's fault if they don't find it to be so. I don't know, maybe I'm meandering here a bit, but I just wanna say that I never like giving negative reviews, but I did end up giving Quick Ads a 3.7 out of 10. Our last tool of the week is Email Sequences from Voila Norbert. This is an email outreach tool wink that's you know code for it's a spam tool it's it's to do cold outreach done wrong cold outreach is spam done correctly cold outreach could still possibly potentially be spam depending on your understanding of the law and all of that stuff i'm not getting involved with what's right and what's wrong i'll just tell you how the tool works so with Voila Norbert's email sequences, there's some pretty nice features baked in. It tries to kind of be an all-in-one toolbox. We get email warm-up. So you link up your email account and they'll get it warm so you can start spending, sending those cold emails out. You can also do email verification, but that's a paid add-on. The AppSumo deal page kind of makes it seem like it's not, like it's included, but it's not, it's not included at all. You have to pay extra for it. So in the video, I actually recommended just grabbing another tool. There's one on AppSumo right now called Reune, and that's got email verification uh, for you know a one-time cost. So probably check out that one instead of paying for every single verification on Voila Norbert. But the main feature of Voila Norbert's email sequences is actually email sequences, right? That's the name of the product. And I found that feature to maybe just be a little bit underwhelming. I was more impressed with the prospecting parts of it. Like I liked using their prospector tool. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, but the email sequences, man, the interface was just a little bit clunky. The way the AI generated text, uh, I wasn't a big fan of how it output different options. And I also found it to not be that high of quality. I probably would not use their AI generation. I would just do that inside of Claude. There was an interesting comment over here from Dice Gamble that said, Dave, if this is a 6-1, which platform would you say is the best all-in-rounder, even if the LTD is no longer available on AppSumo? And to that response, I would say probably not going to find an all-around comprehensive warm-up, verification, prospecting, and cold outreach tool 
all of where it does the automations and the sequences all in one tool. So that's what's unique about this. But if I were to say, I'm going to do cold outreach, I'm going to focus on email sequences. I would probably go with Lemlist or auto close. Those were my two favorite cold outreach tools that I've seen on AppSumo. doesn't mean that I've tried every single one either. So if you've got a favorite cold outreach tool, definitely drop me a line below for the other features. Well, uh, I've mentioned in previous videos that I happen to use uh, clear out for email verification. I've also done reviews of SMTPing, another recent AppSumo deal. I feel like that's a reasonably good candidate. Although I did have a problem verify, I tried to upload a 25,000 email list to SMTPing and it just couldn't handle it. It just threw me in air and I could never get those validated. So uh, my opinion of it is a little bit lower at the moment. In terms of prospect finders, well, I mean, there's a lot out there. Uh, the OG AppSumo deal is gonna be find my lead or find that lead. I forgot what it's called. Yeah, it's find that lead. If you don't have this, it's no longer available on AppSumo, but I think a lot of people who have followed AppSumo for a long time probably do. So you can always use that for locating those random emails of people that you want to reach. It's not great, it doesn't find it all the time, but I haven't found a tool that does. The other one not to sleep on in terms of prospecting is Muriana. I did a review of this not too long ago and I was surprised at how good it was. For 59 bucks, you can get tons and tons of leads and they look to be pretty high quality. Again, a link to all my full length reviews will be in the description. So check that out if you wanna learn more about Muriana. All right, so that's it for this week's reviews. Now, I wanna talk for just a second before we close out this video about having AppSumo sponsor my content. I just wanna say outright that I'm very grateful that AppSumo allows me to make the videos that I make. I'm a part of their ambassador program, which allows me to you know, monetize my reviews. I put a little link. When you guys click on those, it earns us a commission. And that's amazing. They never have reached out and said, you know, you were a little critical of that tool. I wish you would pull it back a little bit. They've never said anything. In fact, it's kind of the opposite. People seem to really like when I'm honest, they end up buying more on AppSumo and then AppSumo says, good job. Let's do another sponsored video, which is, you know, why we're doing the one for the upcoming $5 deal. So I want to be totally forthright that I think of AppSumo like a marketplace, which it kind of is, right? So if you were to see a review of a product on Amazon and that product was panned negatively, you wouldn't say, wow, Amazon sucks. I'm never buying anything on Amazon, right? I think uh, the buying experience on AppSumo is really, really high. You can easily refund things. They've got great customer support. They've got the purchase protection plan in place. So overall, I guess I'm kind of a little bit of an AppSumo fanboy. They, afford us the opportunity to get this commodity, this software as cheap as possible and not have to have the monthly subscriptions. Are all of the tools on AppSumo great? Obviously they are not. Running a software business is incredibly hard and even the ones that don't do LTDs often fail very quickly. So it's a crapshoot and that's why we're trying to grab the right tools, the ones that have the best chance of succeeding in the long run. And that's kind of what these videos are all about. So. I guess that's all I have to say on that. Let me know what your thoughts are about having AppSumo sponsor my content. They never sponsor reviews, by the way. If AppSumo is ever sponsoring a video, it's a tutorial, it's not a review. I'm not going to be you know, bought and sold in terms of my opinions. So that's gonna do it for this week's Taco Truck Roundup. If you have any questions, hit me in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next review.